What's up everyone, it's DV and welcome back to part four and day four of my Hardcore Island series. So in part three, I was able to make a bunch of auto farms. Part of that was a drill for drilling gold. And then I also made a gilded steel hammer. And in this video, I'll be working on getting a washing station so that I can fix my oily crops, a gilded steel pickaxe so I don't really have to take so much time farming ore and expanding my auto farms because we need that money. So I'm also gonna be making a few bonus items during this video. If you're new to my Hardcore series, you can check out part one through three linked in the description below hardcore mode is essentially playing islands completely solo without playing with others ever so you're never going to trade with anyone you're never going to visit a published island and you're never going to invite people over to your island because they could end up dropping you items that you won't be able to resist so in this mode you can only own what you grind for before i jump in here please hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't so you can get more roblox videos like this one so the first thing i needed to do was fix my oily crop situation since long term i wasn't going to be able to make much if i don't address it. So I decided to work on a washing station that just requires three pearls and some other basic materials. I wasn't sure how long this was going to take because I, at one point, I know the last time I like grinded for pearls, I think I spent like 30 to 40 minutes and I was able to get three pearls. So I wasn't sure how long this was going to take, especially considering they added that new fishing mechanic that I don't really know how well it works. <laughs> I, I knew how to fish before. I wasn't really sure about this one. And uh, I was hoping that I would get lucky with a propeller. Sure enough, the pearls were pretty easy to come by. And and after four pearls, I decided I'd just hold out a little bit longer in case I can get a propeller. So luckily I was able to get that propeller after fishing a bit longer. And I also ended up with a fourth pearl, which I might be able to use later. So the pearls only took me about 15 minutes to get. Although I think it's because I know how to fish pretty well. Like I know how to aim it. I know how to like, you know, wait for them. I know how to click on them. And the fishing mechanic is actually a lot easier than it used to be. So I'd assume it might take you a little bit longer for others. And after fishing for another five minutes, I was able to get that propeller, which is huge because the great thing about getting a propeller is that instead of having to make a basic washing station that I'd have to like manually click on and manually clean oily crops, I could instead craft an industrial washing station that I could fully automate cleaning my auto farm. So next I just added to grind 10 steel rods. Man, these steel rods take forever to make, but I was able to make those 10 steel rods and eventually craft that washing station or industrial washing station, which again was a crawl. It took me forever. So every single time I had to make a steel rod, it just reminded me that I need to make a second steel mill soon because having a second will really help. The problem is in order to be able to make another steel mill, I need a balancer somehow. So while waiting for the slow steel mill to make me rods, I basically just continue to expand and add on layers to my auto farm, you know, which honestly took the majority of the day's grind. Like I didn't really spend a whole lot on much else, but grinding um, crops and, and pretty much trying to make new seeds for carrots. I needed to invest a lot of coins into totems, not only totems, but of course I'm going to have to invest a lot of steel inside conveyors, but that's just gonna you know be really time limited so the one thing that really helps when building your farm though is not to just collect from the totems or chests but also harvest crops manually for a chance to get free seeds because if you think about it i never really spent any coin beyond the first batch of um plants you know like for my first potatoes and my first carrot seeds beyond that i've never really bought seeds because you get free seeds so much by manually harvesting so the nice thing about that is you can expand your farm really quick by just constantly harvesting manually instead of using totems all the time. So once my industrial washer was set up, I, you know, had to move my wheat farm layers because the problem with wheat is it, it's never oily. And so if you are trying to wash non-oily crops, it basically just despawns, you know, as soon as it hits that washing station, it just despawns. So I had to move my wheat. And at this point, especially when I have this great of a farm, you know, with uh, carrots and such, I don't really need wheat. It's kind of useless other than for cooking. So what I decided was to set up an auto food processing farm for creating dough since, you know, I already had all the extra cry gold. I already had some wheat totems. I have a plenty of wheat. So at least wheat seeds. So I decided I would just make this narrow tower that essentially I could, you know, convert into an auto food farm specifically for making dough, or I could make an auto farm for carrot cake. Eventually, I just need another food processor to do that and an oven, which I may do anyway. I may do that eventually, but it's not really a priority. This is just something fun for me to do to break up the monotony. So, you know, of course I needed to make some more industrial chess and the still is really becoming a bottleneck for everything with this farm so far for me. So what I'm gonna end up having to do is grind for yet another still mill and that's not too bad because they're not they're not crazy i've got plenty of gold i just need to make some iron so that's not going to be a big uh, issue but the problem is i'm going to need to make a randomizer and the randomizer is going to be a big pain to make because i do need another buffalo core crystal to make that and that's why they're so expensive is people don't like having to farm for buffalo core the big difference here though is the last time i farmed buffalo core for what, how many hours did i spend <laughs> Jeez, i remember 
I spent forever grinding for that crystal. Um, I think it was like two and a half. I think it was two hours for that thing. The difference here now is so I have that gilded steel hammer. So I don't have to, you know, grind buffalo core with a battle axe anymore or an iron war axe. I can pretty much just use my steel hammer and that's going to save me a ton of time. And I can also set up an auto heal macro this time because the gilded steel hammer actually has plenty of knockback. So I would have time to actually auto heal as well. So that way I can step away every now and then and just continue to auto. And that will actually also help me get that rage blade blueprint because I'm going to have to farm those buffalo core a ton. So maybe I'll get a bunch of buffalo core crystals and my rage blade blueprint doing that. So because wheat does respawn so fast, I don't really want to make these, you know, layers so large for the tower, at least for the food processing tower. So I didn't really make these wide or big. These are pretty much small little platforms that the wheat totems can actually handle. And so, you know, I don't have a lot going on here and I could probably add another conveyor and a totem eventually to each layer if I wanted to. But right now it's good. Now, the cool thing is I can pretty much continue to add more layers to this later because the cool thing about food processors is that there's no delay. You don't really have to wait. So you can feed as much um, wheat as you'd like inside the food processor and it'll just keep, you know, working. It, there's like zero delay. There's no like cooldown. Say I give it a hundred wheat at once. There's no delay. It would process all of it at once. So which is really cool. You know, that's great for long term, especially for making dough as fast as we want. So that's going to help us a ton over time with the baker because I'll be able to make a lot of stuff for the baker. So I eventually decided potatoes weren't worth the time as well. So I moved those out of the tower and I'm just going to focus 100% on carrots. And then eventually I'll start a basic onion lane. So in the next video, I will show you how to make a ton of onion seeds for free since, you know, I only need to buy like a handful. I could buy like two or three of them and that'll be plenty for me to start growing my onion farm. So that way, by the time I'm ready to start actually, you know, setting them up on layers for the tower, I'll have plenty of seeds. My hope is I'll have like at least 100 seeds ready to go. So the last thing I needed to do was meet my goal of making a guild of steel pickaxe because I, you know, last video I said I would try to work on one of those. And the good news is I had enough gold. The bad news is that the steel is insanely slow to make. And again, it just takes forever to make steel rods. So, you know, especially if I need 25 steel for one steel rod, it just takes forever. So it is a crazy slow crawl. So I didn't really expect to be able to make an industrial washing station and an industrial food processor. But as with the previous videos, I'm constantly surprised at how much of this is just so easy to get and create, especially as my island is starting to really kick into gear with its production. So in the next video, I'm going to actually be working on creating that onion seed farm in preparation for adding onions into the auto farm. So at first, it's not going to be an auto farm, but eventually I will. And then I'll also be working on getting another still mill and a randomizer set up because that randomizer is going to help us, you know, utilize just a single smelter. So I don't have to grind for yet another smelter. That'd be a nightmare. But this smelter can actually handle, I think, I think it was up to like four or five steel mills. It's been a while since I made my auto farm, but I'm pretty sure it can actually handle five. But, you know, I, I'm only going to have one randomizer at first. So I'm just going to deal with, you know, two steel mills for a while. I'm also going to be working on expanding my auto farms during this time. So you're going to see a lot more layers, a lot more totems, a lot more conveyors. And I'm also going to start setting up my coal farm because I think I'm going to need about 10,000, maybe 20,000 coal. I need that coal to be able to make those coal blocks, you know? So in order to make a thousand coal blocks, I kind of need 10,000 coal. So you'll see a coal block farm pretty soon here. And then I'll be auto farming that quite a bit. So it's crazy to think that this is only day four and I have so much equipment that would easily be worth millions of coins if you were to add everything up. So, you know, if you were to add up the drill, all the industrial chests, my steel mill, my smelter, my tier three workbench, uh, my guild is still hammer, my guild is still pickaxe even though those are kind of cheap these days and all my totems you know all my seeds and all that kind of stuff at, at some point you got to look at the, you know even the food processor and the washing station washing station was going up in value recently i easily have you know like maybe 10 million coins worth of gear right now the only thing i ever spent money on is totems and some seeds that's crazy to think about like pretty much everything here is free and uh if you think about that that's i mean anyone could do this again i can't really tell you enough how much i am hooked on playing this game again because of this mode you know as my island progresses the more fun it is and it really brings back the memories of playing islands in the early days before dupers and supermarkets really started kind of taking the fun out of making your own stuff you know the problem with vendings is that you really never get to experience the fulfillment and satisfaction of earning what you have because what you're essentially what you're doing is you're just you know buying and selling stuff and you're never really earning it for yourself you're just basically putting money in a vending machine put that first item in that you probably bought from someone and then you're just kind of making bank you're basically you know buying low and selling high which you're supposed to do in a supermarket game but the game i'm playing right now is islands and i really think it's you know it's worth checking out and trying out because i think you're gonna get bored of the supermarket game after a while and it's also so great to hear many of you are actually having the same experience as i am having fun playing islands so coming up i am planning on making a video with my alt soon for a few of the new items that came out so you can uh, you know i'll give you a full overview of those items and i'll also be working on an updated price guide you know for the duped economy i've been trying to avoid updating that price guide 
for a bit because again, the duped economy kind of ruined everything. I just really didn't know how it was going to settle, how heavy items got duped, you know, what are they really going for? And it was also just kind of a bummer, you know, looking at all those items and prices. Like I just didn't even want to look at it, but um, I won't abandon you. I know a lot of you are still playing the vending supermarket game, regardless of the duped economy and you enjoy that. So I will be updating that price guide for you. I just need to do some research to see how much things are going for. And so expect a new price guide video coming up soon. I will be doing that on my alt because my alt still has a bunch of stuff. This is my main account, which I'm having a ton of fun on, but I will load up my alt that has all the vending machines and stuff and I will get you an updated price guide soon. And I've got some other videos planned soon, you know, that are unrelated to updates um, that I think you're going to enjoy. So I hope you'll hit that like button to help this video get seen and please smash the subscribe button if you forgot to, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.